Okay, so what is just in time? Welcome back to Design and Technology on Demand. My name is Charlotte and I make weekly videos helping you to succeed in your design and technology GCSE. I just want to say a massive thank you to anybody that has already hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, make sure you do as it does help support my channel's growth. So let's recap. In previous videos, we've already learned about flexible manufacturing and continuous improvement, Kaizen. How does just-in-time differ from each of these processes and which companies actually benefit from this? So JIT, which is the abbreviation of just-in-time, is an inventory system that receives stocks and goods just as it is really needed. For example, you're out shopping one day and you find that perfect sofa. You buy the sofa. The order is then sent to the manufacturer. Materials are ordered, the sofa is made, and then they're sent out to you on delivery. So it seems pretty logical. Just as that purchase is made, the materials are ordered, the sofa is created, and then the sofa is sent out. Doing it in this way saves a lot of wastage. But what wastage are we actually talking about? Well, let's take that same product, but not use the JIT system. The manufacturer produces 100 sofas. These sofas have a large upfront cost in materials. Once produced, they will need to be stored in more cost of paying out for rental space, all while the company waits for the purchases to be made. But let's say the company only sells 50 out of the 100 sofas produced, especially in things like fashion, interior and electronics. Trends, improvements and the best next thing creates products to become quickly outdated and obsolete. More waste into landfills and loss of profits if sold at a discounted rate. Can you see the difference? Just in time reduces holding of material. No need for that extra rental space of storage of products and material. And most importantly, companies don't end up overproducing products. Let's look at a couple of companies that use this system. A good example would be the Burger King franchises. Their hamburgers are cooked when an order is placed. This saves waste and ensures the freshness in each burger. I'm sure you can all relate to this when you order a meal and the burgers tend to be hot, fresh off the grill. However, sometimes those fries can be cold and lukewarm. This is due to them probably being boxed up in advance. The burger would have followed that just in time, however the fries have not. Obviously, they will have to hold a substantial amount of inventory of ingredients on hand, otherwise they wouldn't be able to function. You wouldn't want to wait for somebody to go to the supermarket to get your ingredients just to be able to produce your burger. Remember, they are a fast food chain. So this leads to what are the disadvantages to the just-in-time system? Well, if a supply chain breaks or it comes to a halt, if we just look at what happened in the pandemic, people continue to buy online. However, materials weren't able to be sourced as places like timber mills were closed down. As also, many of us don't like to wait for our products to be made. If we just take that dream sofa, it potentially could take weeks for them to source the materials and actually produce and send it out in delivery, where there are places like IKEA that you can get products straight off that shelf. Other disadvantages may be that you have to pay fully in advance straight up front. We look at it from the angle of the actual company. If you are only purchasing the materials as and when you need them, you won't be able to take advantages of buying things in bulk where you'll be able to get it at a cheaper rate. Finish by looking at one last company, Toyota. They don't hold warehouses or factories full of windscreen wipers and brakes. They time for those parts to be delivered hours before they are scheduled to be used on the assembly lines and even immediately before they're scheduled to be installed into the cars. So what are the key takeaways of this video? JIT stands for just in time. The system starts once a customer places an order. The correct amount of materials are ordered to cover that order. And these arrive just as they are needed in production. This saves money on storage, reduces waste, and ensures that no money is wasted producing stock that will remain unsold. Money is not tied up in stock as they tend to have low cost levels, materials and products that have already been produced. There are disadvantages to this system. If any part of that product cannot be sourced, clients have to wait for their order to be produced. Let's end the video with a question. Make sure you put your answers in the comment box below. What are two benefits to the just-in-time system? If you found value within this video, then please do hit that subscribe button as it does help my channel's growth. You may also want to check out some of my other videos linked in the description box below. See you in the next video.